In this video, we are going to build a beginner friendly first MCP server for a real life use case of my company Atlic Technologies. Here is my team and we have this person who is an HR manager. Her name is Yukta and for Yukta, we want to build this HR agent which can help her in the employee leave management. So the server is going to look something like this. We have Atlic employees database where you have information on their leaves, leave history and so on. And we are going to build an MCP server which will access this database. Okay. And then we will have an MCP client. Now usually for MCP client, I would want something like, you know, an Atlic chat GPT, an Atlic internal chatbot, which is an HR assistant to our HR manager, which can help her do the leave management. But since we don't want this to be like two hour long tutorial, what I'm going to do is I will use a generic MCP client called Claude desktop. Okay. And then this client will make a call to our MCP server that we are building right now. So it's a very simple architecture. Let's install a couple of things. So just Google uh, install Claude desktop. So you'll click on whatever is your OS and you will install that. So that's pretty self explanatory. The other thing you're going to do is install this particular MCP Python SDK. So in your command prompt, just run pip install MCP install that okay pip install mcp and then go to your pycharm or whatever is your editor and here we are going to use something called uv okay so uv is a python package manager we will use that to set up our project for this we have this particular documentation okay so pip install uv so I am going to do pip install uv or on Windows, you can even run this command. See, so if you copy paste this command and uh, run on Windows command prompt, it will work. So I installed it through Windows command prompt. Uh, I think it should be very uh, a common sense thing, you know, to install software nowadays. So I'm hoping you will have success installing UV. Now I'm in this directory, C code course Gen AI, where I will uh, build this directory. So you can just say UV init my first MCP server and it will initialize that. Then you can just go to that directory and you will see all these files okay so i have pycharm code editor here and you can see that we have my first mcp server and if you look at it it has main file it has this project toml file it has read md it just created a basic skeleton now you go to this page pypy.org project mcp where you will see the basic help so here they have created this basic server which can do the addition of these two numbers. Now what you can do, you can give this code to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to generate the code for this leave management. Folks, we live in an era where you have to use AI to generate code that will make you more productive. So that's what I did folks. I took that code, gave it to ChatGPT and asked it to create MCP server for leave management. And see, it created this particular server for me. And I kind of then gave some further prompts, made some changes and my server is kind of ready. So I'm just going to copy paste this code here. Okay. So in this code, as you can see, the way it works is you will import this fast MCP class from this module and you will use a mock data. So I'm not going to connect it with my real database. I have this mock database where I have only two employees. Okay. Employee one and employee two. Employee one has 18 leaves and these are the leaves he has already taken. Employee two has 20 leaves four weeks and she has not taken any leaves so far. You can create MCP server by creating an object of this class. 
and then these are the tools that you can create so remember that in mcp server you can have tools resources and prompts here we are going to have mainly tools okay so this tool if i can uh, maximize the code here will give you a leave balance so you pass in an employee id and all it is doing is see dot get will get that particular key from that dictionary and you will get this object okay and from this object you will get the balance so it will say okay employee id e001 has 18 days leave left similarly if you want to apply for a leave it will uh, apply for the leave it will also take leave dates you can see this instruction by the way this doc string is very very useful it is very important so make sure you are writing a very detailed doc string here because it will guide llm it will guide mcp client to make a particular function call okay uh, then you have a get leave history so for employee id e001 let's say you want to know okay these are the two days that they have taken a leave you can do that and the last uh, one is a resource it's just a greeting okay it will say hello whatever how can i help you etc and then you can run it through uh, this if you want to right click and run the server through here you can do it but we are going to run it little differently so even if you don't have this i think it should work okay so this code is very simple it's your first server i want to give you an experience of how this thing works so we are not designing like 10000 lines of code here okay so hope you get it now the server code is ready as a next step you will run this command so in your directory you will say ub run mcp install main.py see this main.py is my file name when you do that see let me run it what it will do okay so see when you did that what it did is successfully install live manager in cle.py cloud config okay so it added this server or it installs this server in my cloud config okay so what is my cloud so i already installed cloud desktop okay so let's run cloud desktop now so i'm going to open it i'm going to open the cloud desktop and it is initializing that server and you can see in this it has all these three tools now there could be a reason where you don't see these tools and for that what you need to do is here somewhere you will see an option to enable developer mode so you have to do that okay so enable the developer mode i think it's one of the option here i have already enabled it so i'm not seeing it so just go figure out once you have enabled the developer mode what you can do is you can go to file settings and in the settings you will see this developer and see i'm seeing this live manager tab and when you say edit config you will see this json file you can open this file here okay and in this file i see my live manager so when i ran that command uv whatever you install this particular command it actually added this entry into my cloud desktop configuration so my cloud desktop now knows that it has an mcp server called live manager and to run that it has to use uv command uv is already installed on my computer okay uv is a python project manager and you have to run it with this particular command and this is the file okay so when cloud desktop starts it will notice this configuration and it will internally start this particular mcp server so going back to our diagram here what happens now is this mcp client which is my cloud desktop has an access to that particular config file right where it says mcp servers so it has access to this whatever my live manager server okay and live manager server is running here so now when i ask a question into this it will be able to pull the information from atlic database now all the tools which are available okay so if you look at my code i have how many tools so this is my first tool second tool which is apply live third tool is get live history so those tools are visible here so if you look at this tools icon you see get live apply live everything is visible here 
Now, sometimes people may face issues with installation, etc. And I was also facing one issue with the type or library. So if you are getting any type STR uh, error, etc., just say pip install upgrade type or and after that, that error will go away and you will be able to see all these tools here. Okay, so now let me ask some questions. So let's say I am an HR manager at Atlic. And I want to know how many leaves are available for employee E001. So when I do that, the Claude desktop is smart and it knows that this is not a generic internet question and I need to call available tool and it's figured out that I need to call this get leave balance. You see get leave balance. It figured it out. Because it's a language model, Claude 3.7 Sonnet is a language model. It knows how to map user question, which is this, to an appropriate function, which is get new balance, and also supply appropriate arguments. So when I say E001, it will supply that as an argument to this particular function, employee ID. And it is telling me 18 days. See, E001 has 18 days. I can also say, for this same person, let me know the exit dates when they took the leave. So see, you are asking question as if Atlic HR, a human will ask these questions and it will understand. See, it has a context. When I say same person, it knows I'm talking about E001. And for that person, it is going to take, uh, see, see, it's so smart. It says, they took a leave on Christmas day and January 1st. And if you look at this, see, this is a Christmas day and this is, see how cool is this? I can also apply for a leave. So let's say employee ID 002, E002 uh, would like to apply for 4th July. 4th July is a holiday in US. 4th July holiday, please apply for this leave. And you can have uh, this kind of typos. It's okay. It's a language model once uh, once again. See, from that input question, it figured out that I need to call apply leave function. You see, along with this parameter employee ID, this leave is this. See, it is so smart. I just said 4 July, and it figured out that it is 7 4 2025. And how did it convert 4th July into this format? Well using this doc string. That's why I said this doc string is important. Claude knows that apply leave function expects these leave dates in this particular format and therefore it converted uh, that. Okay, so allow for this chat is gonna apply for these leaves. You can see it has successfully applied for these leaves and now I can say how many leave days are remaining for E002 and it says it has 19 days leave okay tell me the days of leave days of leave for the same person it will understand it understands the context okay so E002 it will tell you 4 July I mean that is the answer I expect See, only one day leave schedule all right folks so that's it we just built our first mcp server i'm going to provide you access of all this code so please go ahead and try it out